Hello everybody, my name is Colton. This is my first video, as well as my first Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke video. I've always done them in the past, but I've never actually went through with completing one, and today I decided to sit down, start one, and do it. And honestly, I don't really know how hard it's going to be, because I don't even think I've played Gen 1 since I was, I mean, a, a lot younger. And... Whenever I played Gen 1, I played Red and Blue. I didn't even play the remakes. And, and, and my first games were actually Gen 4. And then I just went up, pretty much. And I, I also want to take this time to like talk about, like on my channel, I feel like I'm going to do like a variety of games. So, Pokemon, Skyrim... Terraria, COD, like anything. It could literally be anything. And also I might just cover topics that I feel like because I'm bored. Why not? And that's just the main gist. I also, felt like, I don't know, I just felt like doing this because I was, I don't know, I'm kind of inspired to do this for some reason. I got like on my Pokemon grind in the middle of the summer and just felt like doing it. Um, and I, I I haven't even set out a team or planned out anything, so we're kind of just going to see where it takes us, just completely blind. Um, so I don't know if we're going to actually win, you know, even though Pokemon games are supposed to be really easy, you know, I could definitely lose. I could definitely very well lose. So I'm doing like the hardcore Nuzlocke rules where I go by, I have to nickname everything, I have to, that they can all die once they're hit, no items in battle and I have it on set mode so I can't switch to keep momentum in a battle I just have to hope that it does work out so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see where this takes us honestly this is the start hopefully this mic doesn't suck but we'll see All right, so now we start our journey, I guess. So, honestly, I at this point I was like, okay, well, I don't even remember exactly what I got to do. Um, I mean, I knew I had to go to you know the professor's thing, but I didn't know how it started because I literally have not played this game in God knows how long. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then I realized, oh yeah, no, it's you're supposed to walk up, and then he shows up, and he's like, oh yeah. Don't do that, you know, like every single other one. I don't I don't know why they always have that same reputation, I guess. So then we're going to go back, and I've already decided on my starter by this point. Um, we're definitely doing the man himself, as you will see. So Also, I named him L because he's a walking L. I couldn't think of a good name. That was the only idea I had. Um, let's see here. So then I was like, okay, well, let me look at him. Um, not doing Bulbasaur at all. Lame choice, I personally think. I mean, he, you know, he evolves early, but lame. Right. Squirtle? Great option. Love turtles, but not it. Not it. Not it. But he will be facing us because we're choosing Charmander. And might be basic, but it's basic for a reason. He's the GOAT. Even though, honestly, in a Nuzlocke sense, thinking about it, the first and second gym, he's weak to, so that might not be good at all. Um... So hopefully we figure that out. Uh, I decided on naming him Majora, like, from Majora's Mask, same name. I don't know, I just think that's a cool name to do for him. He's a little guy. Um, and we're gonna have to do our goofy rival battle right now, so that's fun. And it's just gonna be a whole bunch of luck, because I hope we don't lose the Nuzlocke in literally the first two seconds. Because that would not be good.
So now I started setting stuff up for, uh, you know, for our like for our challenge here. Went to my options, went ahead and fixed it. Um, and so right now, I don't know, I just put a random frame on it that I could look at for the rest of the game. And I made the tech speed fast. Um, for a lot of the stuff, I'll kind of skip around the really boring parts, like the grinding and such. Um... I literally do not want y'all to sit here and have to watch that and be bored as crap while you're just sitting there experiencing. Oh yeah, I'm I'm fighting a level three Pidgey. How fun! Because that is just not it. Um, which does happen a lot, but I will say it does feel good whenever you do get them high enough level. I also have level caps, so I can't like just over level the next gym. I have to be either the exact level. Or below to use that Pokemon in that battle. It can level up during that battle, but it cannot be a higher level than the gym leader when I go up to it. So as you can see here, we got a we got a crit. We're doing pretty good. Um, so that's that's pretty positive. Also, sorry if I'm sounding monotone here. Um, that's just kind of a I'm I'm new to this, so it's kind of taking me a minute to know what to say. Um, yeah, so we beat him. Literally a walking L. This gets whooped every time. I definitely won't regret saying that later. There's no reason I would. And we haven't gotten our Pokeballs yet, so none of the encounters count. Alright, so now I'm just walking around. I, I went back to make sure that I wasn't missing, like, a dialogue or something to get the Pokeballs. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, so, eventually I go back, and I start training up just a little bit to where I don't have just a super weak Pokemon in case there's any other battles approaching. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. One I accidentally walk into later. Um, so, that's terrifying. Um, and this is the first wild battle of the game. How momentous. Momentous timing, right? Look at that. Scratch. Hit me with a tail whip. Bro, what, what is Majora going to do about it? Just just hit him with another scratch, bro. First one done. Level 2 Raditata, bro. Got Remy from Ratatouille right here. So we show up to Viridian City. And so I go ahead and heal. And uh, <coughs> I kind of just look around here because, like I said, I literally don't remember the start of this game at all. Um, but I, you know, I got to figure it out. And so this dude freaking sleeping in the way. I remember this, though, because I remember he's the dude that gives you the tutorial on how to catch a Pokemon, as if we all don't know. I wish it was optional. To me, that'd be like the best thing to add to these games. Is if the tutorials were just completely optional. And then I realized, oh yeah, when I went to the Pokemon, that's what it was. I had to get the parcel. So then we make it back. And I give it to him. Sad old Bulbasaur is just still sitting on the table. Nobody wanted him. So we deliver it to him, and this guy has to show back up every time, and he gives us our Pokeball. And I'm sorry, but my guy, we're not filling that out. We're not filling that out at all. We get to catch one thing, and that's if we even do catch it. So, you're not going to be getting anything from us, I'll tell you that much. Um, so, yep, so we go through this dialogue right here. You're just a walking elbow. I, I swear to God, every single time, it's just annoying. Alright, so now we head back to where we just were. Oh yeah, no, I forgot. We also had to go back to this map right here. Um, 
which is pretty cool, I guess. So now I'm just walking around, going to all the houses, making sure I didn't miss anything. Because you just got to make sure you never want to have to backtrack, I'll tell you that much. Um, especially whenever we don't even have the running shoes yet. Uh, I don't know why. I, I, I guess we got them a little later. Um, so then our first encounter, this boy right here, Pidgey. We need him. We need him real bad. That's, that's a great one. He might get white by the first gym. But he himself is a good one for the rest of the game. And we caught him. And I am so happy we did. Because, man, what a goat. So, I go ahead and name him Aggro, I guess, because he's aggravated. So, his name's Aggro now. Well, her name is Aggro. All right. So then we kind of just travel back to Viridian and train here for a little bit. Uh, because that kind of just sounds like the best idea to do. And I kind of just wanted to make sure that everybody was of level in case we got thrusted into any unexpected events. God, I literally had no idea it was coming. Um, but y'all will see what I mean. So, we're just chilling out here, you know, training. And, uh, we honestly, we kind of go up pretty quickly. Also, by the way, most of the parts won't be, like, showing this, won't be showing that much grinding. It's just in this section, I kind of want to also talk about just a lot, just with my channel and this as well. Um, so now we're back at Viridian, you know, and I realized that there's this route to the left. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, let me go check it out. So I, you know, I'm thinking like, okay, well, I'm going to try to get a thing. But no encounter popped up, right? And then this happened. I had no idea that this was a battle in the game at all. And it's our first legit one. And I had no idea. Zero idea. So Squirtle ended up, which we annihilated his Pidgey. That wasn't a problem. We ended up critting it. But the Squirtle ended up getting my Pidgey down to two health, and I thought he had a water move, so I was like, we, we just lost. We just lost the Nuzlocke in less than 20 minutes, right? But then he attacked me with Tackle, but I was like, maybe it's because I had a Pidgey in there. But no, he does not have a water move, apparently. Either that, or he just, I don't know, or he's not using it, or the AI is being dumb, I don't know. So then I sat here spamming Scratch, like, as much as I possibly could to take him out. And luckily, he's, you know, you see how low he is. And we, ooh, two health. We almost lost, but we got him. We beat him. We hung on. And that's a lot of experience, but I had no idea that battle was coming at all. Yeah, Aggro, she literally crit the other Pidgey at the beginning, but... I had no idea that was going to happen. So then he leaves after just nearly wiping us. The walking L. I don't know how we beat him without even knowing he was there. So then I was like, okay, well, time to leave. Time to go heal. So, uh, and I was terrified because I was like, oh, well, what if I get stuck in a battle? But I walked through. We go ahead and we head back to the Pokemon Center. Because, man, we seriously needed to after that one. So, now that we went back, go ahead and heal. And now the only way to go is north at this point. Uh, but I went back here to go actually get an encounter because last time when I went and I moved around, nothing came out. So, now we're going to try to get one. And let's see. And so I had this Rattata right here. And, uh... One Pokeball to my name. So I threw it out. Tried to catch him. Rolled one time. Did not go in. So you know what? We just wiped him. Majora just wiped him. Majora said, you know what? You don't want to be a friend? You're out of here. You're gone. Right? So now, 
He got up to level 10. Which is pretty good. So I'm, I'm fine with that for this point in the game. Um, by the way, the level cap at the moment is... It's, it's whatever his onyx ends up being. It's 15. And... So we can't get him up higher than that. So it's not like we're going to get a Charmeleon or anything. Um, so we seriously need some kind of grass typing to help us out. So I went back and actually bought Pokeballs considering we don't have any. And that sold us out last time with an encounter. So went and got some. And so now it's time. To go get the annoying tutorial, which I didn't make y'all watch because, man, that is pain. Like, I show, like, this little bit, and I show him catching it, but that's about it. Because, by the way, how are they about to just catch this level 5 Weedle without even hitting it? You know, all the other games are like, oh, yeah, you gotta make sure, you gotta make sure you hit it. No, this guy just chucks his one Pokeball to his name. Like, I just did it at that level 3 Rattata. He throws it at a level 5 Weedle and catches it. Like, what? Are you serious? This dude should be nuzlocking, not me, dude. I am trash. And then he gives me this item that we'll never use. Um, because why would we need help? So we go to Route 2. Start going north. As we gotta, we gotta hope we get a good encounter here that we can catch, instead of failing like last time. So we get a Rattata again. We get we get another chance. Another chance. Also, another thing I'm playing with is Dupe Claws. So if I would have caught the last Rattata, I wouldn't have been able to catch this one. Um, but that also makes it to where, if I already have like let's say Pidgey, if Pidgey's my first encounter on the next route as well, it doesn't count. Um. So this Rattata I ended up getting the level 2 one. You know, at low health, I would hope so. And we end up getting him. And uh, there's only one name that he can be named, you know? Remy. Man cooks up some good food, I'm telling you that. So we got Remy here. And so now it's just about training and... Uh, Getting ready to head into Viridian Forest as well. Which makes it pretty easy to train all of them, really. Because everything there is pretty easy to deal with. Um, I would like to get a Pikachu, but chances are we're not going to get him. Because he has such a low spawn rate. But he is really good, though. Um, so we say you're training, pretty much. And... Yeah, but these are the kind of videos I'm going to do on my channel, and I'll probably end up getting more enthusiastic and more fun and b get higher quality later on. But for now, this is how we're starting out. Um, and, yeah, so we kind of just sat here training. And, uh, yeah, I hope it, like this is at least somewhat enjoyable. <laughs> but we're going to end up making it better. I'll end up finding some ways to have better commentary than this. Then I'm kind of just narrating over my journey here. Um, but yeah, so I went back to the Pokemon Center and everything. And, uh, yeah, so if y'all have any recommendations for anything, please let me know, because I need help starting this anyway. And if you can spread this around, that would help out too. And also, let me know if you like the video link to be shorter or longer, because some of the videos might be longer during this. So we go back up, and this is where the video is going to conclude, guys. So I really hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and like and subscribe.